Good evening, wonderful family. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to teach us how to destroy any kind of spell, okay, that is controlling your life, that is destroying your life, okay, that is making life miserable for you, okay. But before I show us what you do, I want to please urge you all to subscribe if you've not subscribed to the channel. Turn on your notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload new videos. Like my videos, share my videos, okay? And if you have been with me all this while, thank you. I really do appreciate. I will never take your love for granted. So what you will do to destroy any kind of spell, okay? Because the kind of complaints I get every day that things are not moving well for me, I notice that somebody is responsible and all that okay in as much as i have so many videos on the channel that can help solve those problems but i try as much as i can to bring up simpler recipe that everybody can assess whatever you're going to use to you know carry out the assignment some of my subscribers are not in nigeria Okay, they're not in a place they can assess some of the re uh, recipes I drop on the channel. So that is why I research, you know, I do things. And when I, whenever I get any tough one in the dream, I find it difficult to, you know, shoot the video. But each time I get a simpler one, like I, also, I always promise, I will always share it with us. Okay, so this one is very simple. Whatever spell the enemy has casted on you, by the grace of God, when you carry out this a simple spiritual assignment you are going to see results okay i used to a uh, suffering from stagnation setback promise and fail cage success okay near success syndrome ancestral causes delay okay you name it you know the problems you're facing that you feel that somebody is responsible Okay, or a spell has been casted upon you. Okay, it's just a very simple thing you will get. This is my shell butter. I think everybody knows what shell butter is. For those that will tell me they don't know what it is, please use Google to search it so you know what it's called in your own dialect. Okay, please, I will beg everybody to drop what you call shell butter in your dialect. It's going to help me. Okay, we call it uh, Okuma. Okay, in Igbo language, some call it Ori. I think Uri, Uri, the Yorubas call it Ori, but generally with the Igbos, we use that borrowed language, Ori, for it. Okay, yes. So what you do for me, get this Okuma, okay, or Ori, or share, but I don't know what you call it, in your own language or dialect, okay? As you can see, you are going to put four seeds of alligator pepper in your mouth. But if you cannot assess alligator pepper, it's okay. Okay? But if you can assess alligator pepper, put four seeds in your mouth and begin to pray. Say, any man, any woman, as you're saying that prayer, you'll be, you know, rubbing the share butter. You say, any man, any woman that is responsible for the problem I'm facing today. Hmm? As I do this thing today, I am scattering that spell. As you're rubbing this thing, that what you did right now, you're scattering that spell. As you can see what I'm doing. Okay? You see, any man, any woman, wherever you are, that is responsible for my delay, for my late marriage, for my setback, for my stagnation, you know those things you're facing, the problems you're facing in your home, for your barrenness or inability to have child. I don't believe that any woman is barren. Okay? For inability to have children. Okay? For inability to prosper in your business, okay? But I scatter that spell today. I scatter it from the east, from the west, from the north, from the south. That is what that forces of alligator's purpose stands for, okay? For those that understand my language and knows the power of the four market days, which is a K, Oreo, Afro, and Donko, you say you scatter it on a K, you scatter it on Oreo, you scatter it on Afro, you scatter it on Donko, okay? As you do, you just keep rubbing this thing on your palm. Keep rubbing it on your left palm, please. On your left palm. So when it's completely melted, look for a spoon. You're not going to use that spoon again. Hmm? Look for a spoon. Scrape out this thing. The shape of the boy is going to be like oil in your pen. As you can see, my 
you scrape it out okay put it under the sun let it melt there and no and drip away that is how that problem is going to wash away from your life that is how that step back that stagnation is going to you know clear from your way for those that will ask me can they put it on the fire the answer is no okay the essence of keeping under the sun for that Share butter to melt completely, let that problem dissolve on this own. Okay? Yes. That is how you're going to carry out this assignment. Then after that, you spit out the alligator pepper. That's going to spit it out four times. You spit it out in your front. You spit it out in your left. You spit it out in your right. You spit it out at your back, which signifies east, west, north, and south. Okay? Then after that, you, you are going to carry out this assignment first thing in the morning. Okay, first thing in the morning, then keep the spoon there, let it melt. When the sun comes, let it dissolve it and go your way. Then if you know that there is nothing on that spoon, just keep it where somebody will not you know, step on it and all that. When you notice that the oil in the spoon has finished, you know, draining out or draining out, just pick that spoon. You don't use your bare hands. You can wear gloves on your hand or line or, or use your packing pan, okay, and go and dispose it outside your house, Okay. Yeah, just do it. You're not going to do this thing twice. You're going to do it once. You're going to do it once, okay? If you do not see the results after a week, okay, you repeat it. Or let me say after a month because there are some post spiritual products or spiritual work does not work for immediately. So you're going to give this work a month. After one month, you didn't get the, uh, the desired results. Please, you repeat it, okay? By the grace of God, you must see your results. Okay, it's a tested and trusted one. Just do this. It looks simple, but very, very powerful. Okay, yes, I've come to the end of today's video. Please, I keep begging you, don't call me on phone. Please, if you want to get me, just chat me up. Okay, when you chat me, just a size patience, I'm going to reply to you. Okay, I have other things I do offline. Please. Okay, it's not where I don't reply immediately. So I will say, Madam, please reply me now. Reply me if you don't want to reply. You know, those things are, you know, it's rude. It's rude. Okay? Then if if you don't, you cannot have patience, don't call me. Some people will just chat me. They will call me. Please reply. As if maybe I am holding my phone 24 hours. There are other things I do. I am a mother. I have my businesses I run. Please help me to serve you better. Okay? When you do like that i will not you know i will not reply your messages on time but when you cooperate with me know that after like 10 minutes i will always be online to check my messages people that have chatted me know that i reply to your messages on time okay yes but when you come and call me after sending a message it gets me upset because it looks as if you're controlling me which is wrong okay i have my own time i have the way i program myself if i don't program it that way it's going to affect my health and my family okay please help me to serve you better i am pleading okay thank you for watching the video and see you in my next video good night